This, they're going to leave time on the clock for Drew Brees as well. It'll be a 53 yard try. Second NFL game for the guy snapping a Jeff Overball. This for the lead for Bath. He got it. Blair Walsh, sixth round rookie pick out of Georgia. A 55 yarder to tight. The hold from Cluey. The snap from Leffler. Oh, he's got it. Right down the middle. You gotta feel good about themselves getting to the wild card next week. Well, this is where we're at. If Longwell makes the field goal, mm -hmm. this place will erupt. Yes. Because it doesn't matter what happens in Houston. But if he doesn't make the field goal and the Giants end up winning the game, they're just going to have to hold their breath for another minute and a half with a big lead for the Texans. So here it is. Can't stop the clock anymore. It'll be a 50-yard field goal. And here is Ryan Longwell's kick to try to win it for the Vikings. And the kick is good. The Vikings have won it and clinched the division championship. Final score, 20 to 19 over the Giants. Right now, let's go to Kurt Menefee in our studios in LA. But 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 here's the thing. So this week he goes out to practice and Tice says, stop, stop, stop. Everybody come up here. I have a leaked memo from the commissioner that says it's okay for Edinger to make field goals this week. Well, and Edinger just started laughing and took all the pressures off him and he had a great week. They need him to make one here. A 56-yard attempt. It's on the way. Does it add the distance? It's good! It's good! The Vikings win! The best show on television, I'll tell you. Be careful about watching it. You'll never miss an episode after that. Anderson drills it. Is it long enough? It is. Just got over the crossbar, and just like that, it's 17 to nothing. And Mike Tice, it looked like he was fighting back a smile. Allowing Culpepper to escape and throw it away. Aaron Elling will try a 47-yard field goal. Started to hook, but made it through. Boy, that just hung on the post. And really, from our angle, that looked like it didn't make it. Nothing's automatic in this game. Three things have to happen. It's got to be a perfect snap, a perfect hold, and then the kick has to happen. It'll be a 23-yard attempt from the right hash from Gary Anderson. Four seconds left. It's do or die. And he does. There's one second left. They are stunned by the turn of events. It looked for all the world like they had this game in their back pocket. And Randall Cunningham has survived all the mistakes. Murray for the game winner. Sneaks it inside the left upright, and the Vikings go on top 23-22 with 10 seconds left. And that time, he, he realized it would have been a tight fit. Smart thing, he kind of threw it away. 44-yard field goal attempt for Scott Sisson. He's made his last seven. This is his longest attempt of the season. And it's good. Big field goal. That is a huge one, Scott. That Sisson is has huge not missed goal. in the fourth quarter in his NFL career. He's 10 for 10 in fourth quarter field goal. Open, it's almost as if he came off the sidelines. The Packers never saw him. Makes the catch, gets out of bounds, and here comes Revez for the game winner. One of three rookie free agents who made the team this year. Eric Killiford from 45. Kawad Revez has kicked it home. They're playing this the way you would play an overtime game. 
They're not taking any chances. They're not taking any chances with the fumble snap or anything. They're going for the winner right now. Here it is. 32-yard attempt coming up for Nelson. Eagles lead the Vikings by one. The kick is perfect. Incomplete almost interception, but it's still fourth down. Andy Hawkins, 59, the man who made the play. He batted the ball loose, so we'll do it again. Same spot, far hash mark, Steve Dill, snap, spot, kick. It's good! Look at the entire team. From 42 yards out, Benny Ricardo has won it for the Minnesota Vikings, 19-16. In overtime, a dramatic win after a fake field goal try on third down. Benny Ricardo kicks it from 42 on fourth down. Grant, you believe it? Comes down the last seconds of the last two games. Well, he's got his headset off. He's a little bit more, uh, he's working a little bit harder on that gum. Boy, the pressure. There's Here's John Coriel. Yeah. He's, uh, this is it. Yeah, sure is. going to be a 38-yard attempt. I wouldn't be surprised to see a timeout by San Diego to, to put a little bit more pressure on Dan Meyer. Perhaps not. Nor to hold. Kick by Dan Meyer is up and yeah, it is good. Got it. And the Minnesota Vikings have won it. The Vikings have won it. A remarkable victory by the Vikings who have won their fourth in a row. They remain tied with Tampa Bay in first place of the NFC Central Division. And you have to give them re unbelievable credit after missing that point after and coming right back. After a running play went nowhere, and with just four seconds showing on the clock, it came down to 27 yards and Fred Cox's foot. An irony because of the sporadic Viking kicking game for much of the day. For Minnesota, it was a sweet fourth straight victory to remain unbeaten. For Dallas, a bitter heartbreaker and an unprecedented third straight loss.